What is up there everybody? Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have massive unboxing number three and we have the very first model for this one. And uh, it arrived. I'm not gonna sell the box because it had some, you know, labels and such. But this model came air mailed from Hong Kong through Chicago Hair International Airport. Um, the logo appeared to be an Atlas Air logo or maybe uh, DHL or something or Airbridge Cargo, something like that. So it's really cool. This model came air mailed from Hong Kong. And this model is the 2018 release Delta Airbus A330-300. Now, um, I don't remember, but I think this is one of the newer A330s. So Delta has two sets of A330s. They have the former Northwest ones and they have the newer Long Range A330s. So um, let's unbox this one. This is an A330-300. Um, I got this one specifically for the route to Phoenix, which um, Atlanta Phoenix is an A330-300 right now. So we'll be modeling that in the Phoenix update, which at this point by the time this video is going out, you guys will have already seen. But just take a look at that. Oh, that's really cold. This thing's been sitting outside. Oh, it has tilting gear. Okay, well, this one doesn't want to tilt for some reason. But the right one tilts, so that's cool. All right, let's take a look at it. I'm really excited to get a Delta A330. I've been looking for one, and I'm, go I'm going to need to buy more, but uh, one is, a is better than none, so yeah. I can always see there's a bunch of wing flex on this model. Tip to get my jet's quality. Um, but yeah, wow, this thing's really cold because it was outside, and it's, it's literally freezing out here right now uh, where I'm located. It's like um, six degrees or something freezing like that. Uh, and that's in Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So in Celsius, it's like negative 15. So let's take a look at this model. Um, if the camera would like to focus, that would be good. There we go. Here's the nose. You can see the uh, AC star nose on the joint jets, which is fine. It, it, it looks kind of weird, but uh, we have the Sky Team logo, the L1 door, Delta logo, there's an antenna, We've got the L2 door, We've got the engines. These are the CFMs. I'm correct. Uh, is it just me or is the engine tilting upwards? Uh, okay, that's fine. And then here you can see the lovely wing flex. Just take a look at that. Yes, it's like it's in takeoff or something. That, that's coming kind of an issue. L3 door, registration, L4 door, Delta titles. And then the other side is basically the same, but with uh, cargo container doors. So let me show you this gear. Okay, this gear on the other side, it's messed up. It's kind of twisted or something. Does it tilt? I, I can force it to tilt. Okay. Uh, this other one wants to go freely, which is good. Let's see if we can tilt them in like the landing position here. Let's see. And like uh, do this. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Anyway, Delta A330 by Giant Jets. This is the 300 variant. I'm correct. Yes. 300 variant. This is an awesome model. So with that being said, let's move on to the next package. What is up there everybody? We are here with part two of the Mass Unboxing 3 and here we have the biggest package I've ever opened for model planes that I can remember. Uh, it's definitely one of the biggest ones. The biggest one I remember. It's been a long time so I've ordered this many models. But here we have six models in this box here and this comes from Prairie Diecast and um, I got a very good deal on these. It was 136 for six models, which is a great deal. And the reason why is there are five mystery models in here. So five models, I don't know what they are. And one of them is a special release, which you'll get to see. Uh, the sixth one is a special release. I do know what that is. So let's go ahead, crack this box open, and let's take a look at what's inside. Um, so this is, this is the biggest box I've opened. At least on the channel, the biggest, maybe the biggest one I've ever had in my collecting history. But uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. There should be six models in here, and this comes from Prey Diecast. So if you want to be able to get the same great deal I do on these models, I have a uh, coupon code. If you just use the code Citrus Aviation, you get to save 10% off your order and free shipping with no minimums. So that's really awesome. Oh look at this! He even put some a foam piece on here, like a like what the Gemini 200 models have. Yeah, that's like a foam piece from a Gemini 200 model. That's very nice protection. I will be keeping this. Uh, this will be useful. 
Um, and here we have the model. He did ask me if I wanted them in gift wrap. You can see there's some uh, gift wrapping. Alright, let's just do it like that. Alright. And you can probably see what one of the models is already. This is the model that I ordered, knowing what it is. It is the Prairie Diecast Exclusive. Um, which you will get to see in a moment. But yes, we do have a ton of models. Wow. This is this is a little box. Oh, it's a little, little box. Oh, look at that. How cute. Oh, uh, that's probably a regional jet, if I had to guess. Or oh, is this like a L Classics? This could be... Yeah, this could be an L Classics. Maybe Panda models, they use smaller boxes. Here's the next one. This, this sounds like a puzzle. <laughs> That's, that's not a good sound. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another model. And then let's see what this one. We got another one here. And then finally, you can see this one is a special model. I'm trying to get out of the bubble wrap. This is the JC Wings 1400 scale Air India 777 300 This was a custom release from the uh, Prey Diecast store, so he would order several of these. It's only through his store. I know that some other stores are selling it, but if you want the original source, get from him. Use my coupon code. I'm not sponsored to say this at all. I'm just saying this because I really like um, his store. He's got great customer service, and uh, yeah, go check him out. Um, so, what if uh, what if we start unboxing the Air India, and then we'll do surprise models? But I already know what this one is, and this is also the new JC Wings Triple Seven mold, which I've heard a lot of good things about. So let's see if it's any good. Uh, looks good so far. I'm gonna do this very carefully, as, as usual. Uh, this model was fifty-two dollars, so it is uh, a bit on the expensive side. It, it's a bit more than if you just buy a regular JC Wings Triple Seven, but. You are going to be getting a very limited edition model with only 450 of these made. And something I want to mention, when I pull my old box, I pull on the tail until I can grab the fuselage and then pull on the fuselage. Because this is the strongest part of the model and so you really want to lift on the fuselage. Wow, that looks so nice. And it, this feels heavier than the other JC Wayne's mold. Um, apparently this is a new mold, so I want to see how the mold is. Um, yeah, that looks impressive so far. I've been look I've always wanted an Air India Triple Seven. I really want a 200 yard or 300 yard. Uh, so again, 300 yard. Uh, uh, so let's take a closer look at this thing. All right. So here's the nose of the model. You got the cockpit windows, cockpit doors, Air India tiles. This is going to be a fairly quick review because once again, the review is going to come out later. You can see the windows. I really like how they have a little orange around every window. And this is the impressive part. JC Wings is now using a two-piece wing mold, which is awesome. And this wing root has such incredible detail. The NACA dots right there, you can see that little black thing. Those are actually ridged. You can feel them. It also appears they have partly fixed the height issue. So this model is much nicer. I, it's still a nice model. I, I like the two-scale wiper box here. Yeah. And uh, the antennas are to scale. Just look at that APU housing detail. That's incredible. This small just wow. This whole thing is wow. Just look at those engines. This whole thing is really nice. Of course, the wheels still don't want to roll super well, but that's wow. I'm impressed by that. So now let's get to why we're at this part of unboxing, which is mystery model time. We want to have some fun with model planes guessing what they might be. This one I bought these. So this one here, I think this is the smallest box. Um, these two are. So, um, these are cool. I'm suspecting these are NG models, seeing as how tightly packed they seem. They're probably 738, if I had to guess, these boxes. Um, so I'm really excited for those. Uh, let's have some fun guessing what these are. I think those are NG models. This is a slightly bigger box. It's a very square, it's a heavy box. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a Panda Models. Um, I don't think it's large enough to be an NG757. This... This is a... Gemray? No... I don't know. I'm not sure what this one is. And then this one... This... Ah, uh, that doesn't sound good, but... 
I don't know what this is. Gemini just almost saw it. Like, it's very plasticky. So let's open this one first. So not so it is. But let's open it. Oh. Oh, this is very interesting. So this is a dragon. I've never had a dragon wing. So this is a dragon wings Pan Am A300 B4-203. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, that's what's taking around. They come for stand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, I've seen for view. Dragon wings came for stand. So let's, uh. Okay. Let's put the stand together. Um. I think you just put it in and slide it. If I'm correct. Yeah, I think so. Um. I'll get to that later. And then here's a uh, explosive parts diagram. And then here's the model itself. Okay. I've never had any 300 and I've never had Pan Am models. This will be cool. Um. Let's take a look at it. Um. Is it like tied down or something? No, it's not. It's just held by. Oh, wow. That mold's actually pretty decent. Not super amazing by modern details, as far as like detail wise, but it's pretty cool. Uh, what's in here? Not exactly sure, but there's something in there. Uh, but this is really cool. Okay. Dragon wings. Okay, so I was thinking it was going to be like entirely modern stuff. I didn't say only modern stuff, so this is really cool. Uh, I've never had Pan Am before, and this will be a first A300. Yes, I say 300 with that uh, long section there. This is really cool. You can see the original MSRP there of $26 as well. I, I got 20. <laughs> so that's a really cool one. Um, and it's my first dry weight, so that's super awesome. All right, let's move this over here. And uh, let's do this one. This one's the heaviest. I think this is a giant jet. Try to guess. So let's see. Oh, thank you for the wrapping paper too, that's really cool. Okay, and once again, I am wrong. <laughs> but it's El Mexico, okay. Uh, is this no dragon wings? Uh, this is witty wings, okay. All right, witty wings, let's go. And they have a stand too, this looks a lot like the Hogan stand, so. And this is an El Mexico 767-300, what it appears to be. Take a look at it. Yeah, wow, that's a heavy mold. Okay, it's a 763. Yes, 300 variant. Well, heavy. That that mold's heavy. I'm kind of surprised by that. Looks pretty good though. Um, not super detailed, uh, but it still seems to be a nice model. Let's take a quick look at it. This model actually has rolling wheels. They actually roll really nicely. Just take a look at that. Uh, no aerials or anything like that, but this model is really cool. It's also my first Witty Wings, a uh, very heavy model in Mexico there. And let's take a look at the Pan Am, but Dragon Wings. And yes, this does have plastic wings. But overall, you can see the model is actually pretty nice. It's very lightweight. Uh, this there, white livery, but it looks pretty nice. All right, we are now moving on to the last three models. And this one, I'm just filling this box and there appears to be a flap here. So I think this is a Gemini Jets regional jet. I'm not sure what it is. Um, maybe they're Canada CRJ200. Let's open it up and see. Okay. So, oh, this is another uh, dragon wing. So what is this? It is. Oh, is that an Air Canada A300? Let's see. Canada. A3, oh, Air Canada A320. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, it has a little phone down here. Very interesting. Um, oh, actually, no, plastic for the stand. Yeah, it is an Air Canada A320. Very interesting. It's like a little plastic thing. Interesting. I'll, I'll take a look at that. But uh, let's take a look. Low Dragon Wings. And this is, I believe, Air Canada, like, Retro, not uh, correct. We're not very familiar with these. Uh, but Dragon Wings, let's see what they're doing with the toy mold. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's put the gear on up for these. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks nice. Alright, and then yes, this is one of those where you have to put the gear on, which I will do later. But right now I'm just unboxing these, and then we'll do the beauty sauce here soon. But, uh, that looks cool. Okay, I will have a use for this as another Air Canada AC20. I actually have one, but it's like in the, uh, literally that was like, um, an in-between layer between the, between the ice blue and the previous blue. Well, so this is really interesting. I definitely can have a use for this. I'm definitely thinking for some of these models, uh, of doing something like, uh, something like brand as like citrus charters, like, uh, for my current airports, like saying that it's a charter plane. So let's see what these are. I'm pretty sure these are NG738. So let's take a look to see if they are. This one and the next one are very similar. Oh, the panda model. Okay. I can tell by the box that I have a panda JHL738. Oh, it's 74. And this one is, oh, a THL734400. Okay. Um. Time to do Cincinnati now, isn't it? <laughs> so, I have one of these already. It's in the last unboxing. But... I'll take another one. Uh, yeah. Same one's the one I already got. So, um, it's time to do uh, Cincinnati. Or St. Louis. Because St. Louis gets a lot of these. Um, this is... Okay. This is a very good model. I already have one. But uh, here's the second one. This one has been great condition too. Take a look across the box if you want to see what that looks like. That means this other one's almost guaranteed to also be a panda B7 like as well. And I believe the only other panda simply for has been released recently is a United States Navy B7 for That's probably what this is. Let's see. Yes, it is another panda. Boeing 737-400. Oh, it's the WestJet! Yes! WestJet! Boeing 737-600 by Panda Models. Let's go! Okay, I've been, I've been interested in this model for a while. Okay, yes. I have not tried the Panda... 737 in G mold before, and I've been really wanting to get this one. So, let's take a look. Okay, we hit the jackpot. I was kind of hoping that this was one of them. There we go. WestJet 737-600. I've always had a fascination for 737-600. It was actually the least popular of the 737-NGs by a long shot. Well, actually, no. The least popular is actually the 737-900. There were less of those built than 737-600s, but as a mainstream type, the 737-600 is less popular because the 900 ER sold so well. Um, let's just take a quick look at the DHL. I know you guys have seen this before because I have one already, but here it is. Very nicely detailed. You can see uh, the cargo bay doors. Uh, it's got all the blocked out windows and such. That looks super cool. Actually, can you get that line? There we can. There we go. Really nice color on this one. Panda did a great job. And now let's try the 737-600 WestJet. So this is actually another Prairie Diecast exclusive. So they have two right now. He has the Air India 777. This is the other one, the WestJet 737-600. This is the little, little sweet 737-NG. And as you can see, it's really nice and detailed. Um, it's got the Satcom box and the antennas. Nice wind with detail. That's that's pretty good. It's got a hole for a stand. It's good. Ah, uh, the model looks really nice. Very little model, but I like it. So that's this portion of the unboxing. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited about some of these models, particularly that uh, West Gen Air India. Those are awesome. So that being said, let's move on to the next part of the unboxing. Alrighty, it is a few days later, and uh, I think it's two days later, and the next package has arrived. Um, it's a beautiful Sunday morning here. Um, I waited till the following morning to unbox this package because it came in the evening, so um, it's 
This one is from the Arm Model Store, and we got some interesting things in here. Uh, I'm sorry that since you guys saw the thumbnail, you know what it is, but uh, there's, a, there's what some people call a rare model in here. It's not really rare. I call it uncommon, but uh, yeah. This, uh, this box is packed as well. <laughs> Alrighty, so a few minutes later and some partly destroyed box later. Here we go. The package is ready to be opened. Let's take a look at what we have in here. And yes, you do see some Gemini Jet, jet Bridges. I have been needing to pick up some of these for a while. So, here we go. This should be a couple more in here. He said there were three that were in the wrapping somewhere. Oh, it's not in there. But anyway, I ordered 18 of these. These have already been opened. These are just the jet bridges, not including the uh, little sticker pack that comes in, which is fine. Because literally all I needed was just the jet bridges. So this one, there are these. There's a, there's a model in here that some people might consider rare, you know. Oh, uh, wrapping. He said some of the jet bridges were in the wrapping, so I'll take a look at that. And uh, yes, we did get Tennessee One, which some people say is now a rare model. Uh, I think the other jet bridges are here, yeah. They are. Uh, let me just get this dull scissors I'm currently using. Alright, cut that open. There we go. Could be three more in here. Nicely wrapped, at least. Yeah, here we go. So, I pay. I got a really good deal for all this stuff, which you'll see in a moment. But um, here we have the model, which is obviously in itself uh, a pretty good deal. Um, so I got this from the RM model store. He said he had one left. So I picked it up. I'm really excited to get this. I've been looking to get Tennessee one, Florida one, because I missed out on the release when they came out. So I'll buy them now. At least, there we go, Tennessee One, that's the real model. Alrighty, let's go. Super excited about this. Oh, it looks so nice. Wow. I've seen pictures of this and it looks amazing. Oh, it looks even better in person. So, there's Tennessee One. And then we got the Jet Boys. We got 15 of them. So, you might wonder how much did I paid for all this. It was $99, which is a fantastic deal, because usually if you buy the Jet Bridge Pack, you know, just about 30 bucks each. So, call this about $85, right? That would have been no event, and then this model, um, no, you could say about 80 So, I'm really glad I picked these up. Let's take a quick look at the model. So, I got a good deal. Look at that red color. Wow, that's beautiful. And uh, then you can see the, uh, like, three stars on the blue circle background with the uh, white line around it. It looks really nice. White stroke, that's what we designers call it. See the antennas? This is, I believe, the J-series rainbow, is it? Oh. Oh, it's, 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 it's the one with the two long, with the, uh, not with the two long nose gear, but the windows are off again. The nose gear actually on this one looks fine. So, Better than the Tennessee one, Louisiana one they did review of. Sorry, not Tennessee one, but Louisiana one and Illinois one. Um, overall, it's mostly the same. These don't want to roll, do they? Yeah, these don't seem to roll. Okay. But yeah, this is, uh, this model seems to be fine. So, yeah. Anyway, I like this model because I've been looking for Tennessee one. Great edition. Um, I like Southwest models. I collect Southwest models. So, here we go. Alrighty. So. That is it for this part of the unboxing. We might have one or two more packages to finish off the unboxing, but this is what we have for now. So here is the final part of mass unboxing number three. I believe this is the fourth part. And we have one model here, and you can see it right now. It's the United Airlines CRJ-700 in the United Express, operated by SkyWest, I believe these CR-7s were. And this is a cool model. I did not do an unbo actual unboxing for it because, well, there's some things I had to do. So I had to expect them all such better. The models in nice condition, as you can see here. Let me just zoom in on it. Just look at how nice that thing looks. 
Let's see if we can get focus. But yeah, this thing is so nice. I flew on one of these, which is why I got the model. It's about 70 bucks. So pretty expensive model, but I flew on one of these. I believe I flew on 770 uh, Sierra Kilo. And uh, this one's not that registration, but it's a awesome model. And I used to see these all the time at Omaha Airplay Airfield and Chicago Hale and other airports. So it was a cool model. I'm really glad I get this. This is a pretty rare model. And so I'm glad to get this one and add it to the fleet. And uh, really the only United CRJ 700 I don't have one for wonder scale that's been made is the 2014, the June 2014 release by Jim and Jess, which is in the, in the UACO colors. So I'm really excited to get that model. And so yeah, that is it for this mass unboxing. And so with that being said, we're now going to take a look at some beauty sauce of all these small planes like we do at the end of all the mass unboxings. And I'm really happy about this one. We got nine airplanes. It's a pretty awesome one. I really enjoyed playing the model airplane lottery. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And um, I think next time I'll be a little more specific things I'm interested in. But it was still a really good experience. Got a lot of good aircraft. And uh, one thing that you'll see here is you'll see the Iceland Air 752 in these slots because I forgot to throw that in the last mass unboxing and also the Trans Canada. A320 from this unboxing, I need to put that together because as you might have seen from the video, you have to actually put the aircraft together. It's almost like a Skymarks model, uh, which is interesting. And uh, also as I mentioned, TransCanada, that's what it was, it's a, uh, not TransCanada, that's the retro, that's the Air Canada retro thing. But the uh, A320, the Canadian A320, that was actually a lease aircraft, so there was a company that did leasing aircraft, and so it'll be fun to have that aircraft in collection. I'll probably end up using it as like a, a Citrus Charter plane, which will be a charter aircraft. And uh, same thing for the Air Mexico and the Pan Am. So those will be awesome models to add and to have interesting things and uses for them, plus to have them in the collection. So, um, that is it for this video. We'll show you some beauty shots to end the episode today. With that, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you. Thank you.